Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is facing a new FEC complaint. This complaint alleges that she was involved in a major subsidy scheme and that her now chief of staff, Saikat Chakrabarty, was operating a, quote, shadowy web of organizations that allowed them to bypass federal expenditure requirements and also raise more money than they're legally allowed to. Now, we've seen many complaints against Cortez in the past few months. One had to do with her boyfriend getting a government email address or with paying her boyfriend. But we did see reporting from the Daily Caller showing that she was actually on the board of the Justice Democrats Political Action Committee. What's interesting about that is that as part of the new complaint, they're alleging Justice Democrats was subsidizing brand new Congress LLC, which was providing discount services to Cortez effectively, allowing them to bypass federal regulation today. Let's take a look at the latest FEC complaint, as well as what happened in the past and statements from Ocasio-Cortez, where she denied there was any wrongdoing. But before we get started, make sure you're following me on Minds at minds.com slash Timcast. We're going to be doing a lot here on this platform, especially with our new channel Subverse. And this is probably the easiest way for you to send me a message if you are a member of Minds. I'm also trying to break 100,000 subscribers. So make sure to go to minds.com slash Timcast. And if you want to support this video, just share it on social media to help spread the news. The story from Fox News, Alexandre Ocasio-Cortez hit with FEC complaint for alleged subsidy scheme. The crux of the complaint, which was given exclusively to Fox News in advance of its filing Wednesday, accused Ocasio-Cortez and her campaign manager, Saikat Chakrabarty, of overseeing a shadowy web of political action committees that allowed them to raise more cash than they could have legally. It also alleged that a limited liability company was created to avoid federal expenditure requirements by offering Ocasio-Cortez and other Democratic candidates political consulting services at a price so low that the company apparently shut down before the election was even over. The complaint named Ocasio-Cortez Chakrabarty, the Justice Democrats PAC, the brand new Congress PAC, and brand new Congress LLC as the overlapping entities that aimed to subsidize cheap assistance for Ocasio-Cortez and other candidates at rates far below market value. At the center of the complaint is brand new Congress LLC, a now defunct company owned by Chakrabarty that aimed to recruit up to 400 candidates for national office and fully run all of their campaigns, according to a post on the Justice Democrats PAC website. Chakrabarty was trying to create the Uber for politics, said Dan Backer, the conservative attorney behind the complaint. Uber functions because of a massive subsidy from venture capital. Here, it's subsidized by these political action committees to deliver a valuable service that people need and want but can't be delivered at the real cost of it. Backer said brand new Congress LLC was guilty of providing campaign contributions known as in-kind expenditures by only charging candidates for a portion of the total cost of the service. Essentially, Backer claimed the company operated at a loss to provide its approved candidates with campaign services on the cheap. This was a problem, he said, because of a series of 1990s era FEC advisory opinions, which essentially explained that goods and services provided to political campaigns must be paid for at fair market value. Otherwise, they could be considered in-kind contributions. It was unclear what Chakrabarty and brand new Congress charged for their services. And Backer said this was another part of the problem. He said the private company wouldn't be subject to the same disclosure and transparency laws that PACs are. In a May 2018 blog post, the Justice Democrats PAC admitted it was offering services at a rate that would never turn a profit, and that was exactly the point. The goal of creating the LLC was not to make a profit, the post read, and as such, we made our prices as low as possible while still satisfying the FEC's requirement that we are charging something reasonable because, again, if we weren't, we would be essentially doing heavily discounted work for candidates, and that is illegal and immoral since fighting dark money is literally what we want to do. Also driving the complaint were the overlapping leadership roles of Ocasio-Cortez and Chakrabarty on the implicated organizations. Ocasio-Cortez was in charge of her campaign while simultaneously serving as a board member of the Justice Democrats PAC. Her dual role isn't unusual, according to Brendan Quinn, a spokesman for the Center of Responsive Politics. He said it hasn't been out of the ordinary for members of Congress to sit on boards of multiple PACs, nor is it illegal or improper. Backer said Chakrabarty, however, was on all sides of the scheme. He owned brand new Congress LLC, sat on the board of the Justice Democrats PAC, and co-founded the brand new Congress PAC, all while serving as Ocasio-Cortez's campaign manager. This campaign is being filed through the Coolidge Reagan Foundation, a nonprofit that says, 
The Coolidge Reagan Foundation's mission is to defend, protect, and advance liberty, and particularly the principles of free speech enshrined in the First Amendment of the Constitution. In the complaint's introduction, they say, This complaint alleges Respondent Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and her campaign manager Saiket Chakrabarty engaged in a brazen scheme involving multiple political and commercial entities under their control to violate federal election law, circumvent federal contribution limits and reporting requirements, and execute an unlawful subsidy scheme. This scheme allowed Ocasio-Cortez to gain an unfair advantage by receiving illegally excessive contributions and illegally subsidized campaign services while shielding the full extent of her violations from public view to maintain her false public image as a campaign finance reformer. The complaint document has 21 different counts against Ocasio-Cortez. One of them saying, brand new Congress LLC provided excessive, unreported in-kind contributions to Ocasio-Cortez and other progressive Democratic congressional candidates. The document shows a chart showing how much money each candidate paid to brand new Congress LLC. It says, despite receiving a total of only $173,101.92 from Ocasio-Cortez and the other involved candidates, brand new Congress LLC provided campaign-related services to them far in excess of that amount, likely in excess of $1 million. Rather than charging candidates the fair market value of the campaign-related services it was providing, the Chakrabarty-run Brand New Congress LLC subsidized the cost of those services through contributions from the Chakrabarty-run Brand New Congress PAC and Justice Democrats PAC, the latter of which was also controlled by Ocasio-Cortez. It goes on to say, Brand New Congress PAC, which Chakrabarty ran, dispersed a total of $261,165.18 to Brand New Congress LLC, which Chakrabarty owned and controlled over the course of 2017 to subsidize the cost of Brand New Congress LLC's overhead and operations and allow it to provide services to Ocasio-Cortez and the other involved candidates below their fair market value. Justice Democrats PAC, which Ocasio-Cortez and Chakrabarty controlled, dispersed a total of $605,849.12 to Brand New Congress LLC, which Chakrabarty owned and controlled over the course of 2017 to subsidize the cost of Brand New Congress LLC's overhead and operations and allow it to provide services to Ocasio-Cortez and the other involved candidates below their fair market value. Justice Democrats PAC characterized these payments as being for strategic consulting on its FEC disclosure form. And the complaint continues once again, brand new Congress LLC collected a total of only around $173,000 from Ocasio-Cortez and other involved candidates, but relying on the $867,000 in payments from brand new Congress PAC and Justice Democrats PAC provided campaign related services to them with a fair market value of up to $1,040,116.22 by providing campaign-related services to Ocasio-Cortez and the other involved candidates at below fair market value without a profit motivation and without charging an appropriate share of its overhead and infrastructure costs, Brand New Congress LLC made excessive and possibly prohibited unreported in-kind contributions to them. Now, it's really complicated, and as I pointed out, there's around 21 counts in the complaint, but what it sounds like is that Most services to a campaign have to operate at a profit or at least sustain themselves. If they're charging you below market value, they will cease to exist. Eventually, Brand New Congress LLC did cease to exist. I'm not sure if that's because they ran out of money or because Saikat Chakrabarty moved on to now be the chief of staff for Ocasio-Cortez. But my understanding of this is that it seems like what they're saying is that because they were charging so little for these services, they needed to bring in money from these political action committees to make sure the business didn't cease to exist. Now, it's possible Brand New Congress LLC was actually providing services to Justice Democrats and to Brand New Congress PAC. However, Saikat Jakrabarty was involved in all of these. Ocasio-Cortez was in control of Justice Democrats. Why would they need strategic consulting from themselves? It's possible. But I guess what they're trying to point out is that it seems pretty strange. At least it seems strange to me. At the very least, they're calling for an investigation into what happened here. Now, this may not be criminal. It may just result in a big fine, but one aspect may actually be criminal, at least according to a former FEC member. This past story from March, Ocasio-Cortez and her chief of staff could be facing jail time if their control over PAC was intentionally hidden, former FEC commissioner says. Now, what makes this story so interesting is that Ocasio-Cortez has one of the most viral political videos, a video about dark money that was viewed over 40 million times 
But now she's been accused several times of being involved in a circuitous scheme to bypass federal restrictions and regulations. However, I do want to make sure I note that Dan Backer has a Stop the AOC PAC. It is in his first political action committee. In recent years, he's registered organizations such as Stop Hillary PAC and Pro Donald Trump Great America PAC and the Stop Pelosi PAC. In response to a complaint about a month ago, Ocasio-Cortez said there is no violation. So we may just be seeing a partisan actor who wants to stop Ocasio-Cortez, challenging her on this notion. I would agree. We haven't seen any real evidence they've done anything wrong, but there is decent speculation. You can point out that the LLC was operating at a loss, but Saikat Chakrabarty explained that. However, should you be allowed to start a company that purposefully operates until it becomes dysfunctional? Shouldn't a company have to at least sustain itself? How would you be allowed to say, I'm starting a company to provide a service. I don't have to report how we're spending the money or where we're getting money from, but we're operating purposefully at a loss. That seems rather strange. So I kind of lean towards maybe this should be investigated. I do find it really weird that a political action committee run by Ocasio-Cortez and Saikat Chakrabarty needed strategic consulting from Saikat Chakrabarty's LLC. I mean, that seems weird, doesn't it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll keep the conversation going. You can follow me on Minds at minds.com slash Timcast. This is the easiest place. If you want to send me a message, you can do it here. Stay tuned for new videos every day at 4 p.m. Eastern on this channel. And I've got more videos coming up on my second channel, youtube.com slash Timcast News, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all next time.